Hi, welcome to another awesome segment of Talk with Confidence. This is where we have inspirational conversations with inspirational people. Today I'm really excited. I've got a, tr I've got a truly inspirational person in studio with us. His name is Mr. Tsepo Maseko. He's an actor, he's a father, he's an entrepreneur, he's a presenter, he's an MC, he's an educator. <laughs> He's a man of many, many talents, and yeah, you, uh, I think you can see my excitement, I can't contain it. Uh, Mr. Tsepo Maseko, welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man, uh, we've been waiting to have you on the show, and we're really excited that you're here. Thank you for honoring the invite. Thank you, thank you for allowing me to be here. <laughs> thank you for this platform, I really appreciate it. Wonderful, man. Uh, we spoke last week. And there's a particular topic uh, that we got onto uh, about men, mm -hmm. and I know it's a, it's a topic that you're really passionate about. Yeah. And we, I want, I want us to delve into it to really open it up, so that you know we can expose the wounds that are there, so that yeah. the wounds can heal. But before we get there, I want to talk about Tsepo Maseko. Uh, growing up, yes, sir. Uh, I used to watch. I, I grew up in a, in a household of about four women, so okay. my mother and three sisters. So I used to watch soapies a lot. <laughs> and there was a, <laughs> there was a particular character there, what I get passes. Manori Dreadlocks. From Tawanchu. Yes, <laughs> so uh, we know you as an actor. Yes. Uh, but who is Tapo Machego? Where, where did your journey begin? Sure. Um, look, I, when God started me, hey, I didn't. I, I wish He had told me what what His plans was for me. Yeah. You know. Um, but I started television when I was thirteen. Mm. I come from a family of six. Yes. Ke mama ka us baby Catherine Maseko, my father Pokerlo Maseko, yes. my eldest brother Sydney Maseko, my elder brother Godfrey Maseko, then me. Yes. And then my younger sister Nzwag. She's the yeah. only girl among the boys. Mm. So uh, I've always been this. I was chubby and bubbly. And yes. I've always been expressive. So yeah. I was actually more hyperactive was the word. Mm. Expressive because I wanted to do things. Mm. And they felt that they needed to contain me okay. by keeping me busy, getting really constructive. And thank God they did that. Yes. But essentially, the, 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 the youth classes, mm. the afternoon dramas classes, mm. the dance, mm. the kung fu, yes. they needed to channel my energy. Yeah. Because they knew if, if they didn't, it, was, it would channel itself. Mm. And in all sorts of horrible ways, mm. growing up, cross away to middle and zone nine. Wow. Now the back bit then, mm. I, I felt so good mm. in that space of drama yeah. to a point where right now I feel already every child mm. should at least have an encounter with drama lessons. Mm. Because it teaches them self-confidence, yes. it, it, body control, mm. awareness, mm. observation and listening. Wow. If every child, should, for, for me two things, every child should study drama mm. and learn at least one musical instrument. Mm. It is so therapeutic. Wow. Because the world is so noisy mm. that children don't listen to themselves. Kind of mm. when you listen to yourself, you also hear God's voice. Yes. So hardly be about Twitter, Instagram, and for wrong noise. things. Yes. And for wrong things. Yeah. Because we can use this platform like you're using it now mm. for good things. Mm. Now, my energy was contained. Mm. Radio drama, radio pef magu kere king during Easter, mm. and then Dadumbara Isaac Mating liked us, mm. and he, called, he he happened to work for a production company called West Wind Studios. Yes, and he spoke to his boss, and he like you know, I was at church and I saw these boys, mm. and the guy called Jimmy Mari said, I have to go come see these boys. Mm. They came to Soweto, they saw us, and they said we're going to write a story. It's going to be on TV, and it's going to be called Katle. Wow. And we thought they were joking. Uh. Six months later, they came back with the full story. Yeah. They didn't even audition. Uh. We went and I played a lead character yeah. called Katle. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, Katleho Wonderful. means success. Yes. So from then onwards, my career has just been Katleho all it the was, way. It was prophesying you Absolutely. the rest of That's your exactly journey. exactly the right way. It was prophesying the rest of my journey. That's wow, exactly what man. it's been. So then, Katana School, like Simulo or Ritile, Kelogito, my high school. Mm. I went to go study drama, go Pretoria Technical. Yeah. And then I was sp spotted in my final audition by uh. a guy called Gray Hoffmeyer. Mm. He said, I, I know the name, I know the name. Yes, yeah. he's the owner of Isidingo. Yes, yes, oh, the, <laughs> he the titles, Isidingo. yeah. <laughs> And he was like, I like that young man. Uh, I'm working on a show, I might as well include them there. And he included the family Amatabane. Mm. And then I was cast as Parsons, Parsons before man. I finished my tech, my course. Wow, that is powerful. Man. Absolutely. That before is powerful. I finished my, that is so powerful. all these things happen before they happen. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> You know? Oh, absolutely. Wow. And then Parsons happened and Parsons opened doors mm. everywhere. I did mm. what he take mm. five. So I did a show called Take Five. It was yes, a live a youth was... show on the yes. And since then, mm. I've always loved talking about issues. Mm. Because how do you solve anything when you don't talk? When you don't talk. Because talking, like I said, 
we're opening it oh, up. We're and then it, it up. gets and oxygen, it, it gets hurt. Exactly. It exactly. exactly. So that's the point in a nutshell. Uh. Um, and then I went with love life, motivation, because I've always been the one to advise. Yes. You know, because it's I, innate, it's in you. And especially because mm. I grew up around a lot of elders, even mm. especially in my career. Mm. I mean, your late Rosin Marapedi, and Tade Ruben Todi, Boiki Mothamme, the living uh, Magic Tachuayo. Mm. I've always had these elders because I played a young boy. Mm. And they, my mother gave them an instruction to say, listen, mm. he's a child. Child, mm. Please mentor my child. Wow. So they spoke to me like their like their child. Mm. Everything I was pouring into you every single day because they they knew. I mean, my parents knew this one it was a ball of fire. <laughs> we need to so, contain. <laughs> contain. <laughs> so everywhere, I mean, all I heard was yeah. positivity. Wow. That's From and you uh, mind you, I was not the cleverest child academically, mm. but because my parents poured word, words of power and confidence and mm. and faith and motivation into my head, mm. I thought I was the best thing the world yeah. has ever had. And, and I still think so. Yeah, I mean your, your, your energy, your energy says it all. <laughs> I, I, I feel it is highly important for young people to be constantly motivated. Yes. Constantly, because if they hear good things, they mm. become good. You know, you're talking about the noise. Yes. And a lot of the noise, unfortunately, in, in society is negative noise. Whether it's from music, whether it's from Twitter, the things are trending that shouldn't be trending. Yeah. When, when good things happen, they don't trend. But mm. when something, you know, negative happens, happens, negative, it catches it trends. Like and then that is what young people constantly hear because we are here, we are, we are on TV, we are, we are watching TV, we are doing all these things. Wrong TV. Wrong TV. Wrong content. Wrong content. Wrong music. Wrong messages. Mm. And there's so much good out there mm. that I feel we're not giving it enough time. That is mm. why I'll honor platforms like this mm. any day. Yeah. Because I grew up being flat. I mean, it's, it's, I believe in the, in the giggle. Mm. You know, garbage in, garbage out. out exactly. Good in, good, good out. out. That's God powerful. in, God yeah. out. That's powerful, man. That's powerful. You're wearing uh, a yes. label there. Eh? Yes. Uh, this is Polo. Polo Hall. Okay. What is Polo Hall? Polo Hall is a name for animal. Yes. Ne? Yeah. Uh, I worked on a radio show mm. when I had a radio show on a, a slot on Mood Reading FM. I did mm. a 10 till 2, 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. Mm. And then I was upgraded to breakfast Saturday morning. Yes. But before the upgrade, mm. I figured 10 p.m. until 2 is a party time slot. Mm. But we're not all about party. Nobody mm. parties forever. Yes. I mean, you, you, you have to sleep at some point. You have to wake up. Yeah. You have to watch at some point. You have to, no, no, no. Mm. Even if you party, but you have, So I figured I can't give them so many hours of just party. Yes. And not everyone is out in the club. Mm. So I figured we need to have a segment of motivation mm. featuring young people because mm. that's what fueled me. Yes. So I had a slot where we featured young people in their careers. Mm. The first weekend, I interviewed a graphic designer, mm. a boy called Tabang Letoko. He mm. owns a label called VAR8, mm. W-A-A-R with the number figure eight. Mm. Nice. And we spoke about his label mm. and we had a long chat and he figured like I'm enjoying this. Mm. The following week we had a guy called Tabani. Mm. His label is Dubster. Mm. He's a fashion designer. Mm. Now Tabang came back for the second weekend to just come and chill with us. Yeah. Naturally he met uh, Tabang. Oh, yes. Now they spoke about a clothing label mm. for me. Wow. And they said to me, Mr. Masako, we, what kind of celebrity are you? I'm like, what do you mean? They say, but you just dress up, Jewana. You, you don't make an effort <laughs> as a celebrity. I'm like, what do you mean? It costs to make an effort. I mean, I, when I act, I don't use my clothes. People pay to make me wear stuff on TV. Yes. And then they said, but on your normal life, what do you like? I'm mm. like, I want to be comfortable. Mm. I want practical stuff because mm. I love cars. I like camping. I love animals. I like, I like farms. I like yeah. different things. I like, I like uh, programs uh, like your your games mm. you know that that's I'm about I'm about I like sport mm. so they figured okay so if you have to have a clothing label what would it be I said look it must be oh I also love animals I'm addicted mm. to national geographics I love that as well and I've, I've always had dogs in my house always mm. always mm. I can mm. never live without dogs yeah so now I figured guys I like animals this is what I am and they figured okay sharp we will talk about something mm. and the next week we'll come to you next week we're interviewing somebody else mm. now they both come back mm. they say okay let's have a few minutes interview so mm. we had a few minute interview and we spoke about uh, emblems mm. and like I don't know Nike has got that sign Adidas has got the leaves I don't know guys hey um, mm. something something ethnic and something mm. permanent something something that everyone will resonate with mm. like a like a footprint mm. Hmm, footprint, yeah, but animal. Oh, okay, mm. but what? Like, but not just your normal footprint. Something that has made a move. Yeah. Because my my, my motto is move. Mm. Whatever you do, move. You can't progress. If, if, yeah. You can't move. If if you can't run, walk. If mm. you can't walk, crawl. If mm. you can't crawl, jump. But mm. do something. Move. Love you gotta move. Beautiful. Wherever you are, you need to move. Beautiful. Cool. So then, that's how this this this, board, this, yeah. this, this thing, that's a, and a, a, it, it's actually a paw, mm. right? Mm. But paw is P A W, mm. which stands for Polo Holo 
active way. Wonderful man. Beautiful. <laughs> now also, it also stands for praise and worship. worship. Ah, wonderful. Protect all women. Wow. Practice and win. Beautiful. On the funny light, <laughs> pop and verse. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So that's what happens in a nutshell. Wow, man. Yeah. I, I don't think you remember this, but um, about two years ago, two or three years ago, <gasps> uh, <laughs> I was, I was uh, invited by uh, one of my mentors in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, Nom Sarade, yes. to, a, to, a, to a show that she was shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, you called me on stage. Heaven is <laughs> So we met. Eh? We met. <laughs> we this, met. this universe works in wonderful ways. Eh? You called me on stage, and I think you were presenting your gospel. Yes. Gospel. gospel yeah. Gospel classics. Gospel classics. Yes. So, so I mean, even. <laughs> so I mean, even if you're talking, you're talking your spirituality. You yeah. know. So how important is that to you to it your is, life? My guy, I function on five Fs. Mm. Letter F. The mm. first one is faith. Mm. Look, before the universe started, mm. God created it. Mm. So we are, we are, we are faith. Mm. We, we are spiritual. Mm. That's what we are. Mm. Look at how we met. Little did we know that we'd be sitting here. Um, he knew this. Yeah. You know, I mean, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I have plans for you, plans mm. to prosper you and not to harm you. Mm. Right? So mm. faith is highly, in whatever you do, you've got to have faith. Whatever mm. you believe in. Mm. I'm Christian. Mm. Whatever it is you believe in, mm. sit on it. Mm. Because that's a substance of you. Mm. Second is family. Mm. What am I without my mom and my dad? Mm. Whether they are there or they're not there anymore, but mm. they made me. Mm. Now, for other people, family could be your uncle, could be your aunt, mm. could be your brother, could be, but you need to have a strong bond with family. Mm. A family that has got a, a, a ground, your faith. Mm. Now, that family is solid. You mm. can never break that. Mm. Yeah? Other one, it's fitness. Mm. We have to look after ourselves. Mm. Look at what HIV is doing to the world, mm. especially Africa. Mm. Young people. Young people get drunk like they get paid. Mm. They're not looking after their health. Mm. How do you function your head properly when physically you're not well? Mm. We, need, we, re, we, we need to eat healthy, mm. rest, exercise, look after ourselves. Mm. Just, I mean, look at how good you look. Thank you. You're even growing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's the lies. Because, <laughs> because if you die mm. because you didn't look after yourself, mm. then we've lost the jewel. Mm. We've, lost, we've lost confidence. We lose confidence. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I hear so, you. So I it's hear faith, you. it's family, it's fitness. Mm. Yeah? And then obviously, you need to look after Zaga. Ah, oh, finances, yes. <laughs> because <laughs> how, how do you feed your children? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, how do you... And, it, and kind of finances is also part of investment. You need to empower yourself. Mm. Be academically fit as well so that yes. your finances are in order. Mm. Because we see a lot of, especially black wealthy men mm. who just play around with money. Yes. They, dr I mean, people will be bragging that I bought a champagne that cost 20 grand. Yeah. You could have taken that 10 grand and bought Mili Mili for some destitute family, 10 families. For a whole year. Oh. Or a bursary or, or a school uniform. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We boast about, I draft 10 Porsches. It's all very good, beautiful. Mm. But don't use that to your distraction. Mm. Because and, and don't let it be what defines you. Oh, absolutely. Because mm. when it's taken away from you. Who are you? Actually. Who are you when they, I mean, I, I, I love a quote. I heard it, I think, by Dada Khalvam Plante a while back. Mm. It says, character is who you are in the dark. Mm. And not how you sparkle among multitudes. Mm. 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 When the lights oh. are off, who are you? Really? That's powerful. Who that's are you really? Ne? That's so powerful. that's fitness mm. and that's finances. Mm. And then obviously when all of this is in place, mm. you have fun, bruh. Yes. Oh, you, need, gonna, you need it in oh, the equation. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have to strike a balance. Yeah. And it's amazing that it's a hand. Mm. You know, you have a to, full hand. Oh, you have to have a great And you time. can grasp. Oh, you have, to have, you, have a, you have to have a great time. I'm a, mm. I'm a camper. Mm. I race. Mm. I, yo, I, I enjoy my... I mean, sometimes <laughs> I smile in my sleep. I'm just like, yo, this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. You know, uh, before... Before we started shooting, I asked you how you wanted me to introduce and you said you have to add father. Yes, there? absolutely. Father and uh, the F that you mentioned family. and family. Yes. So in fatherhood and family, I mean, we've, we've, we've been speaking about things like war femicide, mm -hmm. things like, you know, Aish. young boys killing Aish. their girlfriends, men shooting the wife, shooting the kids, then shooting himself. What do you think is the root cause of that, especially coming from a man's pers pers perspective, you know, with, as you're passionate about family and fatherhood, what do you think is the root cause for many of these problems? It's simple. Mm. Um, my dad, mm. so, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say this, so can you go nene with the whole sushi thing on top of girls? Mm. And my dad said, whose father is that? Yeah. And then, who is the father to that boy? Mm. Mm. Do you understand? I hear you. That... 
who who does he role model himself mm. against? Mm. Where did he see that? Where is, who's the example? What's yeah, what is this? And he forgets that it's been recorded. His yeah. child is going to see this 40 years later. They'll say, that's your dad. Yeah. So if the father, it rots from the head, my guy. Mm. The fish rots from the head. Mm. If, you, if the father misses the boat, mm. the children are going to drown. So we must be like our father. Mm. He gives us simple instructions. Mm. Do unto others. As you Respect. Mm. Love. And serve. I'm now, I have three daughters. Mm. I have Naledi, Kamakhel, and Katlech. Mm. I mean, I have actually five women in my life, and mm. I'm so proud to say it. <laughs> it's my mom. Yeah. Principled in Christ. Not, she does not bend the rules. Mm. She doesn't care whether technology is here or now. Mm. No, 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 no. My mom, my wife, mm. my three daughters. Mm. I am surrounded by this greatness, and I'm thinking, is the world ready for this? Mm. What I see and read out there, I realize fathers have lost ground mm. we did a show with a guy called lucky Koza. it's his show actually mm. called skilava mm. it was about these young boys who sleep on the streets mm. all those boys mm. all of them mm. have got father issues so all of them can be traced back to the all father of them. and if you were to go to i, I read a study uh, some time back Pablo, they did a, 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 a research project in prisons mm -hmm. exactly what you're saying everybody landed there when they were talking about their mothers, so a lot of them said, no, happy Mother's Day. They buy gifts. When, when it came to Father, but happy Some Father's cry. Day, they don't want to yeah. touch on it. Yeah. Because it's a wound. But fathers. Fathers. We are not there. Mm. And uh, it's worse now mm. where rich fathers think you father through money. money. You must understand that your child, mm. when they say, who is your role model? He must say, my father uh. or my mother or my parents. Mm. If he says, Tsepo Masek, who's outside of your family mm. unit, there's something you're not getting right. Yeah. There's something you're, you're not modeling in yes. the right way. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. He must walk in your footsteps. I mean, mm. I saw one caption on what, social media. Mm. Um, the, the, the father was sitting with his son and he said, you know, you must really work hard on yourself because the world is very hard. You must watch your footsteps. Mm. You know what the son said? Mm. He says, I don't have to worry about my footsteps. Then mm. I'll walk where you walk. Mm. Mm. Powerful. Now, can you imagine if I walk wrong, mm. my... Of the one following will walk wrong because there's a Sitswana saying that says, Kakoya Murahu Ikata Moya Pili Ikati Linti, and it becomes a generational okay. legacy. Oh, absolutely. Oh. There's, there's a quote that you reminded me of it says, uh, Example mm -hmm. is not one form of leadership, it is the only form oh, of leadership. Absolutely. Children live what they grow. Mm. Hey, also, mm, mm, the mm. day a woman stands up for proper reasons, maybe yeah. she doesn't want you to buy that car yeah. or that house, you're like, this is my man, who are you? And she tells mm. you, yeah, yeah, you know, and you, it, already you go back to your data, you retrieve data from your childhood, you saw it, because you yeah. saw it and you took pictures, and you smack her, because it's in you, it's part of yeah. you. There are people who are so angry with their fathers that mm. they end up becoming their like fathers. Them. I'll give you an example, there's this mm. young man, his father was a drunk. Mm. He was never there for him, really. Mm. But he was always there somewhere. The mm. first time I met his dad, he said, that's the man who that apparently is called my father. Yes. And I said, and there's a Christian man. I said, how do you even address him like this? He says, yeah, but he's, been, he's, he's useless. He's not a part of my life. And I said, but refer to your Bible. Mm. It says respect your mother and father. It doesn't say when they are there for you mm. or when they are done, they're not there. It just says respect them. Period. Excuse me. So, it, it just, it, it puts it plain and simple like that. Mm. So I said to him, so you don't have a relationship with your father? He says, no, that bastard is a loser. Excuse oh. my French. I'm like, that's your father. And, and watch your tongue because the power of life and death lies in your tongue. tongue and he's kissing so you, you just kissed you just killed your father and cursed yourself he says nah nah nah, nah. i'm telling you now he's got three sons oh, man. he lives in a beautiful big house yeah. alone oh man his sons live with the mother i said to him you hate him so much that you are now exactly, exactly like, like him. him and and the, the the distressing thing is that the rep it's, it's, it's a replication without intention. Absolutely. Or you're, you're, they're trying so much to avoid it that, that you become it. it. Because it's a law of attraction. Yeah. What you focus, you become. Mm, mm, you fo mm. he's, he's attracting that, to, he's telling that to the universe every day. Mm. I mean, he's thinking about his father every day. That's what he's attracting. And that's what he becomes. Of course. Yeah. And guess what? His children might just become like him. How do we stop 
that generation, I don't want to call it, call it a curse. Mm. This chat, mm. it starts here. Mm. But not on a superficial mm. to welcome gentlemen. No, we no, need no. to get, if, if I sit here, I need to know your father. Mm. I need to know what you think of your father, of mm. his mistakes. Yeah. How do you had a chat with your father? Mm. Looking forward, if you, if, not have, if you don't have children, how would you like your children to grow? Mm. What kind of environment would you like them to grow in? Mm. We need to have this chat as men because women have talk shows for days. Yeah. And even if they talk about men, it's women talking talk, about men. Yeah. So we need to have a show about men, for men, with men, to men. Mm. Brutally so. Yeah. Opening everything up. Oh yes. Like you said, opening the it's can it can't be nice to open a wound. Yeah. It'll be painful. Mm. But the wound will be opened fresh, it will come mm. in, God will intervene, it mm. will be sorted out. Mm. Mm. This whole thing your tigers don't cry. I'm a crier, my guy. Yeah. I when I'm happy I cry. Yeah. I mean when I pray with my children every night, excuse me. The four year old, the youngest one. Mm. She would just pray your normal crutch uh, prayers. Mm. Thank you, Father. For... Mm. And then she would pray first, and the uh, sisters would pray, and I would pray. Mm. And then when I pray, I always thank God mm. for that very moment. Because mm. as we speak, people we know might have died yesterday or are going to die tomorrow. Yeah. So we never know when our last days are. So mm. I'm always grateful for little things, mm. which is what I was taught. Mm. Now, when she turned three, she decided she wants to pray. Mm. She's been hearing me for two and a half years. Mm. When she prayed, her first words, my mm. guy. She says, Hello, God. Mm. Thank you for Papa. Wow. From I cried. Yes. I cried. Yeah. That she's three and she's three plus and she heard mm. what I've been saying. What are your children hearing? Mm. 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 What are our children hearing? Mm. If they hear, Yeah, 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 mother, I got on radio, mm. what are they becoming? Yes. This is what they must hear every day. Yeah. Every single day. Motivation. Absolutely. Every, and they must also see it. It must match what we say. Yeah. There must be congruency. Oh, absolutely. What we're saying and what we're yeah. doing must judge. Otherwise, otherwise they will judge us. Yeah. They will judge us and they'll, they'll become us or even worse. Mm, mm, so mm. Are we, this, we need to start by talking. Mm. Do male programs. Mm. I said to the guys who drink, uh, the, I, I went to uh, some village where the motivation is. And I mm. figured something said to me, but just take a walk around. Mm. And I saw a group of four boys mm. drinking good looking young boys drinking mm. ginger mm. and uh, they could speak proper English so I forget mm. something is not gelling here mm. so I introduced myself and they said yeah but you are type myself on the tea I'm like no man I'm not yeah. I look like that guy <laughs> <laughs> because everybody thinks I was <laughs> and they said well we were under why were you walking on the street I mean you should be driving a nice car <laughs> so I'm like how no so you guys drink on the streets like this mm. before three in the afternoon Ish. Ah, we are bored. You are bored yeah, no. at your age. Mm. What happened to sports? Mm. I mean, why is this neighborhood dirty mm. when you're here? Mm. Like, what's wrong with you? Mm. Ah, but I mean, what's the point when you go home? Ah, dad is doing this, mommy is doing I'm like, but that's his life. Yeah. What about your life? Mm. What about your life? Mm. Ah, the other says, ah, no, I don't know, I'm a dad, I don't even care. But, but, but his duty is done. His yeah. duty was to bring you to the world. Yeah. He's done. Mm. You can't kill yourself the, over the fact that he's not there anymore. Mm. That's a reason for you now to prosper. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hot man. I told them, listen, it was on Human Rights Day, a day before Human Rights Day. Mm. Tomorrow we're going to have an event here. I'll be talking, so please come help us. He says, mm. yeah, okay, what must we do? I'm like, no, whatever it is that you, you're good at. Mm. The other one said, ah, look, while I think about it, can we come to, can we, because you're talking about cleanliness, mm. can we come and clean this yard and do this, be the security and pick up later? Whatever? I'm like, sharp, done mm. deal. Mm. So I went back to the church. I'm like, guys, we've got ushers, mm. but security guys. <laughs> I'm like, Where did you get them? I'm like, I didn't get them. God provided them. As well. <laughs> they, we found them there early in the morning. Wow. They, our, our cars were washed. Mm, mm. The gate was always closed. They were monitoring mm. each car going in and out. Mm. There was not a single paper on the floor. Wow. Not just by a few minutes of me talking. And I was not talking to them. Mm. I was just finding out who they are. Mm. Because young people don't know who they are. My, my brother, you know, you've, you've, you've sparked something quite powerful. We need to give young people a sense of purpose. Because if, if, if we leave them there... They find we don't, it themselves. They, but it's exactly, for me... There's a, there's a strong link between you because the sense I'm getting is you could have been one of those guys. Oh, absolutely. Because you kept reiterating that there was a fire in you, which is very visible. I mean, I can feel it. But uncontained fire oh. can destroy. Oh, my word. And I think a lot of, a lot of young people, especially young, 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 young men, have that fire, but they're going out. Udagra Mutu is very talented, Kamuki. And it's, it's a gift given to them to go and inspire. But the NI is found a way of, oh, gifted. If, if I, can, I, I can get away with a lot of things. And then you want to spread out all kinds of diseases. 
So we need to give our young people purpose. Yes. Their why. Their why. Yeah. Is your why red enough? Is it fired enough? And mm. who's containing it? Mm. Because a lot of parents are failing. Mm. And we have social media. Mm. We can't go wrong. Man. Yeah. We have men like you. We can't go wrong. Mm. We need to take ownership of our young people. Mm. Because our young people are our country. Yeah. These are future leaders. Exactly. So can you imagine having a president who was a drug addict? Yeah. Gone are the days where we should pride ourselves in that. You know, I used to be a drug addict. I'm clean now. Mm. Sharp. Well done. Congratulations. Mm. Now can we get the children to, to stop by not even Ladies starting? Sir. Exactly. Power. By not even starting. Because, I mean... Excuse me, I'm told by those who have recovered that it's a daily uh, uh, challenge. Mm. Something could snap in you mm. and you could, go, you could fall right back. So we shouldn't have to worry about, about that. Yeah. If you never went through the journey, then you don't have to worry about the monkey, the monkey on the back. Powerful. My brother, these things that we're talking about, events and programs, you, you spoke briefly about them. You said we need more men's programs. Can you just highlight some of those that you're busy with? Yes. Or some yes. ideas that you're doing? Yes, yes. Um, there's, a, there's a concept called We Men. Mm. And it's written women. Mm. It's We We men. men. Yes. Nice. Because most of the time we are spoken for. Mm. I mean, the few bad boys mm. represent you and I. Mm. If that boy kills that young girl, mm. they men, say men, men are, are trash. trash. And we are quiet about it. Mm. And the universe starts to believe them that oh, there are no good men. Mm. Out there. And the women are starting to, they are starting to want to become like men. Yes. And they can never get it right. Because others, God would have made them. Yeah. And it creates other social issues as well. And, and, and what, one of the things that it does is also it cripples men. Because if, if you're in a relationship and the woman wants to be the man, then you, men, men don't know their place anymore. Because the women now want to become men, and then who, who, who then is the man? Who, what role is it the man playing? So now, how does that young man stay strong in that relationship when mm. he didn't know who he was growing up? Yeah. Mm. Mm. If you know you're a leader, mm. I mean, Jesus is a quiet leader. Mm. <laughs> he does things, he moves. Yeah. He goes, does things. So we'll, we want to run the whole thing. I said to my father, mm. how, Papa, how come you didn't tell me that when I get married, I'll become the wife and my wife will become the husband? Mm. And he says, because you would never have married. <laughs> So my friend says, what do you mean? I'm like, my guy, if you want to be a good husband, mm. this is one thing you must develop yeah. in your marriage. Yeah. Hearing mm. and patience. Mm. When are your duty, even the Bible tells you, you, mm. must, you are a provider. Yeah. But that does not mean switch off your emotions. Yeah. That's where we went wrong. Mm. Black men don't have hobbies. Mm. Where do you vent out your energy? Yeah. Mm. We need hobbies, mm. good hobbies. Mm. We need... Camps. Mm. We do camping every single year. Mm. Four times. Mm. The first one is men only. Mm. Around the fire and let's let it all out. Mm. The second one is with wives. Mm. It's husband and wives or couples, serious couples. Mm. Wives do nothing there. Mm. We cook, we clean, we wash, we everything. Mm. Their, their duty is just to, to be our, our, our trophies. Trophies, yeah. <laughs> the third one is with children now. Yeah. Uh, husband, wives, and children. Family. Yeah. Yeah, family, the entire mm. family. And because children must have, I mean, if we're not putting pictures of memories into our children's heads, mm. who is? Yeah. Television is. Mm. Radio is. Mm. Social media is. Mm. And they snatch onto negative things very quickly. Yeah. Very quick. Our children have got access to information more than we do. Mm. Now, if you must understand, if, if, you, if you, 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 you log on to the internet, mm. Your phone now has an idea of what you like, mm. right? And your patterns. Start, your, and they start supplying you with, mm. how about this? How yeah. about that? That's how the world functions. We recommend this So, way. if yeah. our children are always on negative side, the world will keep giving them the negative. Okay? That's yeah. how it is. I mean, how can I, if, if I've, I've seen you, the reason I'm sitting here is because I spoke the language that you, then you're like, no, man, this is the same channel. Yeah. This man must come here mm. because you can't call in something unless if you have a completely different angle mm. that you want to mm. approach. Mm. But ultimately, it'll go with what's in line with your, mm. your vision. Yeah. So we must be like that. Mm. That must, You need to channel our children. Mm. My, my, my aunt says, um, children are disruptive because principles have changed. Mm. He says you can never change principles. Mm. If children say, it's the 20th century, no, still, respect is Principles respect. Principles are there. Respect is respect. You, mm. can, you can't beat it. Whether you are more intelligent than me, mm. respect is respect. Mm. My father, we don't wear hats in my father's house. Mm. He says, and he, you know what, he, every time he's called, he says, you know what, you can wear a hat in your house. Yeah. Not in my house. Mm. Now, that always said to me, I need to have my The first thing when I moved into my house, I wore a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked at me, he loved. My house. <laughs> he loved. <laughs> And my mom, my mom didn't get it. She's like, why? What's wrong? He's, like, he's been waiting to wear a hat in his house. Now, do you understand? I'm now in my house. Yes, exactly. 
So he was sub subconsciously preparing me for the future. Yes. And is, is it telling in you that the, your day is coming to have that platform to, I said, to be I want your car. He says, this is my, my car. car. <laughs> well, you, your your car. car. <laughs> and then when he was driving my car, I'm like, dad, slow down. This is my car. <laughs> But you beautiful, see, we, we need to keep planting seeds. Yes. I mean, there's a, there's a captain that I love so much. Mm. A seed was saying, well, uh, when they buried me, they thought I was dead. Mm. Little do they know that I was a seed. Yeah. And you grow back up again. Wonderful. We need to feed our children good things. Mm. Boys have been taken over by the universe. Mm. Alcohol, drugs, mm. negativity, mm. and the love for material bling material. with no substance. And things like womanizing are popularized. But you know, it's a sign of internal hollowness yeah and none of those things can oh. can fill that, no, that, never, that void never never it's only your upbringing mm. or good association mm. good i mean if i keep sitting with you mm. even the bad guy in me will on some hey Zippo, yeah. it was nice knowing you i don't like your conversation and yeah. you leave me mm. but if i keep doing all the bad things the good guy will say hey Zippo, i can't be hearing these things i'm leaving you one of one of them is going to diminish I, I mean i i grew up thinking there's probably the devil that sits here mm. and god sits here mm. yeah? so mm. every time you're about to do something uh, the devil says yeah go for it let's mm. kill this thing and jesus will be some look it's a choice mm. you know if you could do that the consequences are coming mm. Because my principle is do unto others. As you, and this one says, no, don't listen to Jesus. Just keep on. So mm. you, you need to, to train your ear to mm. listen more to the mm. good than the bad. Mm. That is why I say there's too much noise. Mm. It bothers me to see young people all the time with headphones. Yeah. What are they hearing? Mm. They're hearing someone's lyrics. Someone is, is, is speaking into their lives, informing who what they are becoming. They, they've killed their inner voice. Mm. And that's the most powerful voice. That's the, your, your guidance system, Absolute, your compass. It's your GPS, bro. Yeah. Mr. Tepo Maseko, I feel like it has been a, sh <laughs> a short time. I've really enjoyed this conversation. You must come back. I have to come back. You I will come back. Hey, will he, said it, hey. he said it. <laughs> he said it in Japan. I, I will come back. I will honor that. <laughs> we, need, we need to continue this conversation. Thank you, sir. But unfortunately, our time is up. Yeah. But my brother, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, wisdom and wealth unto you, my brother. Oh, thank you. I received that. Eta, Eta. Eta. Wow. Powerful, powerful, powerful. I'm inspired. I'm sure you're inspired. He promised that he'll be back, so he will be back. So look out for him right here on Talk with Confidence, conversations that inspire. You've been watching Global Conference Television. Etada. Hey,